And we are back! Welcome, everybody. More of Dragon Age. Well, you know what? We can... Oh, we won't pick that quest up just yet. This is just the campsite. Um, we can quick say a word to yes. Lils. I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. Is there anything? What was life like in the Chantry Cloister? Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. Huh. Condescending? How so? When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. What did you say to them? What can I say to them? What they believe is what the Chantry says, and the Chantry is infallible, yes? Maybe I am wrong. But it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the Chantry. But there is work to be done, and I have talked enough for now. Okay. Well, let's, uh... I know that that... I'm fairly positive that takes us off to the Warden's Keep, which uh, we can get at some point, but... Okay, so party-wise, why don't we bring in yes. Alistair? We still definitely Indeed. need Morrigan um, instead. Yes. I'm going to try and constantly mix up the parties and uh, give us new characters, but, you know, there obviously is a, a point of only so much. That's our party camp. That's Flemeth's Hut. Red Cliff. Uh, Soldier's Pass. Well, let's set off. We're in Lothering now. Let's head to Redcliffe. I actually... Yeah, let's head to Redcliffe. Or do we head to the Brazilian outskirts. I'm trying to think of where I really want to start off. Let's uh let's make our hit to the Brazilian outskirts and then to Denarum. Remember a, a great quote I heard on gaming and you know oh. Stop right there, outsider. The Dalish have camped in this spot. I suggest you go elsewhere and quickly. I don't take kindly to threats. I am not threatening you. I am warning you. We have always defended ourselves when necessary. But I've business with your people. I find that hard to believe. What business could we Dalish possibly have with a group like yours? I will tell that to your leader, and no one else. Seeing as you are obviously no simple trespasser, I will leave it to the Keeper to decide the importance of your business. In the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself, and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. Get this part over with. And imagine that natural animosity between dwarves and elves still exists. I see we have guests. And a hound amongst them. As if we haven't had enough problems with such creatures. <laughs> Who are these strangers, Mithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. I understand. But this one claims to have important business with our people. I see. Tell me, stranger, what business could you possibly have with us? We have our own issues we must deal with, as you can see. You listen to what I have to say until I'm finished. That is your business? 
to threaten us? Answer the question, or you'll quickly find out exactly how hollow your threats are. <sighs> I come representing the Grey Wardens. You might have simply said so to begin with. Masir and Ismithra, you may return to your post. Manuvinen, Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zathrian, the Keeper of this clan. It's guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? Call me Rattler. If you came to bring news of the Blight in the South, it is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? So their first reaction to trouble is to flee from it. Curious. I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. Uh -huh. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us, and though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak, even with all our magic and healing skill. We will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. Why did these beasts attack you? They are savage and unrelenting. Yeah. They need no reason to attack anyone. What is curious, however, is the ambush. We expect werewolves to be no more cunning than a rabid wolf. The ambush suggests a level of intelligence we've never seen before. Maybe they aren't as unintelligent as you think. I doubt that. The very curse that is in their blood fills them with an unreasoning rage that precludes any true thought. Surely you must have some warriors to spare? Not enough to make a difference for you, and not simultaneously leave us defenseless. So there are actual werewolves in the forest. There was a time in Ferelden's history when werebeasts roamed the lands in great numbers. Spirits possessed animals and turned them into horrific monsters. The humans warred against and destroyed these creatures. No doubt their tales of those days grow ever more inaccurate. Flemeth tells tales of such a time. Packs of possessed wolves akin to abominations roaming the land. It was a terrible age, now long past. The werebeasts are not all gone from this land, and the ones that stalk the Brazilian forests are proof of this. Is there no way to help your men? The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... that would be no trivial task to retrieve. Uh, you're talking about a werewolf. No, but it is the one who made these werewolves come to be. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. I'll find this Witherfang. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. 
Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. I need some equipment. Then I suggest you see Master Verathorn. I will instruct him to put aside some supplies for you, the kind that the hunters use. I, I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. Let's see what questages are out there. I'm Darren Atitian, stranger. I am Athras. I hope the others have not been too harsh in their treatment of you. They've been a bit suspicious. It is not our intention to insult a Grey Warden. We are simply wrapped up in the plight of our hunters. It is easy to forget simple niceties at such a time. I understand you will search for the wolves in the Brazilian forest. I would join you, but Zathrian has forbidden me. You do not seem very happy about that. None of us are happy about this situation, and I least of all. But I shouldn't speak too much about this, especially with an outsider. I am sure you have little interest in my problems. That's how you ask for help. <laughs> Interesting method. I, uh, didn't ask you for help, really. Come on, out with it. It's odd to talk so freely with a stranger, but perhaps you can help me. My wife, Denila, and I both fought the werewolves in the ambush. She was injured so gravely, the curse spread rapidly in her. Zathrian fought hard to ease her pain, but there was little he could do. And though he says that Denila is dead, he will not let me see her. Her body. I am beginning to believe she became a werewolf. And that it is being kept from me so I do not go chasing after her. I would not allow any to keep me from my goal. Going out there could cause another attack, and I wish no harm upon my clan. This I understand. To hold the group over the individual is worthy. An unexpected trait in your kind. If I could just know if Denila is alive or what happened to her, then I could be at peace. Perhaps I could convince Athrian to tell the truth. No. It would be very rude to accuse the Keeper of lying. I know he means well. I just need to know. One way or another. If you were in the forest, perhaps you might come across her, alive or dead. Any news would be better than none. And in return, I would be happy to gift you an amulet made by our craftsmen. It may fetch you some coin in the human lands. She's probably dead, you know. I can only cling to a faint hope. Or rest once I find out the truth. Yeah. I just imagine that a guy like Rattler has probably uh, a number of preconceptions so about I the shall. elves, be them true or not. Uh, hello? Why are you cringing? Speak up! I... Uh, that is, we, we, um... Is everything all right? I, 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 I am, I am sorry. I, I didn't mean to offend you in, in, uh, any way. You have a name, I assume? I am Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. So be one and stop wishing for it. I... Never mind. Just go away and leave me alone. Too... Frilly. <laughs> so yes, there is a quest that I could get from him. Hello, little Megalomit. Please leave that be. If you have need of equipment, I am sure Master Verathorn can help you. Zathrian said that I could have what's inside. Please do not lie to me. I find it most unbecoming. Ha uh ha. -huh. Well, can't flame a door for trying. What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Ferrothorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durgenlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. 
My actions bring me sorrow, Master Verathorn. And so they should. Truly the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. Now then, to you I speak only because the Keeper requires it. So speak, and then be gone. I was told you could supply me with equipment. Yes, yes, the Keeper sent word that you might ask me for such. I took the liberty of assembling some goods that our hunters use. There is a large chest by the Araville, where I put everything we could spare. Feel free to sort through it and take whatever you need. I'd like to barter. No. I'm no Shemlin merchant who will traffic with any scoundrel. I suggest you go. Ho 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 ho. Ho ho. You have betrayed the trust of my clan, and no doubt stolen from us. Zathrian shall hear of this, I assure you. Zathrian said the clan would provide me with whatever I needed. He said Master Verathorn would supply you with equipment, not that you could help yourself to our treasures. I suppose I should not be surprised. Zathrian was right. I'm too trusting of outsiders. Go, do what you said you would, and bother me no more. What chest was he talking about, then? I figured that was the chest. Maybe there's some other... Oh, look at that. A really crappy dagger. Beautiful. Is that the chest there, the one that... Clan shield, tier one. Garbage. Delighted. Can't even take that chest oh wow you are clearly too good to us this elm I assume is not very good tier one yeah As you desire well Zothrian Delighted. I'm sure they won't be missing that. There are places where those horns bring huge prices. Can cure diseases, so they say. Who comes? Oh, it is you, stranger. You startled me. There's no... You don't seem to be very happy to see me. Should I be? I would rather you did what you came here to do and moved on. I was simply preoccupied with the Hala and did not hear your approach. For a moment I thought you a wolf. What is a Hala? They are the noble beasts that pull our air about. <coughs> Sorry. What humans call land ships. They are our companions and our guides. I was able to mute myself that time. You make them sound like friends. That is exactly what they are, in fact. We ride the Hala, but never with reins or a saddle. It is the Hala who decide where to lead us, and our privilege that they take our Aravel with them. In return, it's the herder's job to speak to the Hala and care for their needs. It's a bond of friendship, and not servitude. So why have you separated this one? I fear she may have been bitten during the werewolf attack. I have tried speaking with her, but she is too agitated for me to understand. The curse would not affect her as it would us, but it would still be lethal. And it may prove contagious to the other Hala as well. I can find no wound on her, but if she's truly ill, then... Then I will have to put her out of her misery, for her sake as well as that of the others. Is there anything I can do to help? I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. Try to calm the hollow. No. No, I'm sorry. She isn't calming any more around you than she is for me.
And? What do you think? I truly cannot tell. I am glad you attempted it regardless. I could kill her quickly if you wish. No. That would not be right. When the time comes, then... I will do it myself. It is my duty. As both Master Herder and as... as her friend. She shall take her last breath knowing she was always safest in my care. Well, folks, as always, thank you very much for watching. Tune in the next episode of Dragon Age Origins. And a level up! Nice! Well, let's quickly do that. Uh, let's get your... Willpower. Willpower is... Yeah. And magic. Cone of Cold is really, really what we want. Let's move in that direction. Well, actually, God. Shocky Fingers? I forgot how many spells that... An Arcane Bolt is really good, too, just because it's a... Let's go with Shocky Fingers. I know it's not the best, but... Well, actually, I think Ice Weapons would be a lot better. Get us towards that Cone of Cold. <laughs> now, thanks for watching, everybody.